y'all already know. Couldn't look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful day of checking these buttons. We are back as promised. It is Thursday. The weekend is almost here. I know it's a little earlier in the day. I'm trying something different. I usually, I'm used to posting at night or a little later in the evening. Now I'm gonna try to post at two o'clock Central Standard Time each time that we post. So I don't know, like I said, something I'm trying out. We'll see with the next couple videos. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. We definitely got the hot clips and the hot topics talking about the pros versus casuals, people bragging about beating the pros, pros actually getting pissed off this is something that's definitely been around as long as time but for the first time it seems like we're actually talking about it seeing like if there's something that's actually wrong with it or if there's something that needs to change anyway without further ado ladies and gents we's about to get it all let's go Practicing Dragon Ball Z, obviously, in 2020. <laughs> so when I say online, give me two seconds. I genuinely mean, <laughs> give me a bit, man. <laughs> All right, and now into them first set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off right here with the age old debate as old as time. But you know, the real, real truth is, I can't remember the last time this was publicly debated or even talked about, which is why I thought this would be a good topic here on checking these buttons. Nobody's really like dove into this one. So it pops off with a well known player by the name of Scar. Y'all know Scar, very uh, amazing player in the NRS community, uh, especially. Um, in Mortal Kombat, right? Y'all know him. He's, he's like been him and Sonic for a long time, like neck and neck. Um, just a real amazing player. So anyway, apparently he did an FT10 with the lesser player. But before we get into all that, it jumps off right here with somebody by the name of Just Meta Gaming TV. He says, just heard the homie, the great Khan, represented PC Boys today and beat Scar in a very close FT10. I'll be there to analyze it in one of my next streams. Let's go. Good shit. Scar responds to that as well from a different perspective not so much as him losing but like yo it's bigger than that right here he posts saying this ain't about me losing to dude it's about dumb assholes with every match counts mentality you don't see fans at sports practices judging their favorite players on practices alone if me being fed up with years of this being a thing comes off as salt so be it and he responded again from the initial tweet from metagaming right here saying yeah just because of this post i deleted the vod i play one set with pc best player from sweden in a two bar connection and you want to broadcast and hype it up to the world i don't need every set i play to be put on stage it's casuals and shit like this is annoying my dude and people respond to that with you know different opinions but some from the perspective like yo if you're lost you're lost everybody loses it's not that bad right here picking it up saying i do respect scar and i have seen his matches and the way he played sonya and mkx it's incomparable but now he can't admit that he lost he should admit the loss because if you lose you learn there is nothing bad in losing my respect is still with or still the same for Scar. And then you have a lot of people in the FGC responding basically saying that it's not right if you're uploading somebody without their permission, right? Which we've heard this in the past, but then a lot of people, of course, see it from a different point of view, which we'll get there in a second. But of those on this side of the fence, they're like, yo, if you're gonna do this, you have to at least ask, you know what I'm saying? Because they're involved in the clip as well. So the proper or the honorable thing to do is to ask for permission before you just, you know, put them out there. And others respond on that note right here saying, I get why players dislike being uploaded without consent slash prop. Finished for online casuals when they're just practicing. I also understand why some up and coming players do it as a helpful way to validate their progress. The communication in between is key and all too often isn't there. Then others respond on that note pretty much saying, if you upload me without permission, I'm done with you. That's, I mean, that's a bullshit move. You need to get permission if you're gonna do it, bottom line. Especially like on that note, if it's just casuals, you know, a lot of people are getting pissed off, even pros, you know, they're saying that if I'm here practicing, like Scar was saying, 
it's not right if you're uploading it, especially if you're uploading it to judge the content of my character. Like, yo, I beat this amazing player, you know what I'm saying? But you know, on his side, he's like, I was just practicing. So how are you judging your skill level off me just practicing? And people on the other side of the fence with a different point of view respond as well. Like I said, let's get into it. Right here they post, whether a person is practicing or not, a trophy is a trophy. Practice with another pro in private if you want the practice. Also, if I don't upload it, the next man will. Ain't nobody giving out being honorable points to people they consider nobodies to begin with, just saying. And bringing up for that one side when people were like, yo, at least ask for permission. Others were like, yo, it's it's for, for one, there's gonna be a lot of pros that have unread messages, especially from people that they don't know. So they're almost laughing at it like, imagine asking everybody for permission, you're never gonna get it. Especially if you think about it, I'm in the video too. So if I'm player one, you're player two, who it belongs to both of us so I can upload it. You don't have permission or say if I upload it or not. Now you can say, well, maybe I could do the other thing that a lot of people seem to be doing on Twitter nowadays. Like when they upload a clip, they block out the name of the second player. But if you're trying to brag about beating a pro, especially in the first to 10 or something like that, then you might say, well, that's gonna take away a lot of the purpose of me doing it if I block out the name. The Scar sees that response as well saying, this is exactly the mentality not to have and why pros keep a small circle and are reluctant to give new challengers games. A trophy is a trophy, yet people complain when we don't broaden the range of plays in the community. And Scar actually asked to this saying he pretty much bought MK11 about two days ago um, on PC to try out to stream and play with friends and the community and to experience the 60 frame gameplay. He did not buy it to have people take footage of the matches and to analyze them. How hard is that to understand? At this point, he'll just go back to the PS4. And on that note, people bringing up an obvious fact that you're probably thinking about right now is like, it's because you're a pro. This has been going on since the dawn of time, right? If I'm a casual and I get linked up with the pro, I'm probably gonna think I, I'm gonna lose, but if I win, holy shit, I actually won. Right here they post this thing, it's because you're a pro and they won. If I stepped into the octagon and somehow knocked out Brock Lesnar, you best believe I'm gonna post it everywhere as well. And that's basically it, right? It's always happened like that. Now, on our side, like if we happen to be playing a pro, I can see people don't really know if they're practicing or not, unless they're playing a weird character or doing spamming like some bullshit or something like that, then you could probably tell. But otherwise, you're gonna jump for joy because you're just gonna think, holy shit, I beat this pro, especially if I look up to him like, damn. From a personal point of view, um, I, I can get what he's saying. Uh, when you're a pro player and that competitive, on this note I should say, um, not that I'm the pro player, but I get it. This is what they do for a living. So the last thing they want to do is for somebody to take them practicing. Uh, some of them take shit when they weren't really trying and basically highlight it, you know what I'm saying? Because now you're basically showing the world or you know the people in the community like, look what I did to this dude. Meanwhile, the dude's like, hey, yo, uh, what, what? Now, coming to the other side, especially in 2020, when you're talking about online and how people see it, like especially if they're like, well, I was in the match too, I think it is what it is. I think, let me know if you agree or disagree, if you're in the match too, especially if you're in the match too, it is your footage. You can do with it what you want. Now, you can be that guy that asks their permission if you want, that's up to you. But as far as I'm concerned, that is your damn footage. Now, I do think you should do the honorable thing, like if you know it was a bad connection, point that shit out, especially if you're gonna analyze it or something like that. Or point out any other times that you might have lost this dude. Don't make it just seem like, oh, I'm the shit, look how I beat him. Meanwhile, he beat you like 50 other times. You know what I'm saying? Be honest with that shit. I think that's the least you could do. But bottom line, I think if you're in that match, it's fair game. All right, and now we're to these next set of buttons that need to be checked. A quick announcement before we get out of here, what I kind of hinted to just now. Ladies and gentlemen, remember what I said, no need to talk versus item, right? For $800, that was like a week ago. It is happening this Saturday, which is in two days. It's gonna be hype because Idom actually stepped up. Now, ladies and gents, $1,500. It's up to $1,500. Idom, the community, we don't raise the money, ladies and gents. Idom, the Capcom champ, coming up against No Need. No Need has been knocking off pro after pro after pro after pro.
whatever it is. Definitely let me know how you're feeling about the casuals bragging about beating the pros, about Iron accepting the $1,500 champ uh, ch uh, challenge against No Need to Talk. I can't talk. That's why maybe there's no need to talk no more because I'm out of breath. I'm out of words. I'm out of time. We'll see y'all Saturday. Love you forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. People upload clips of them beating me all the time. They, they upload them all the time and they brag to their friends like, yo, I beat Mr. Button Check. I beat Nesto Money. I, you know, I took them out. I can't believe it. My life has changed forever. I got an orgasm. I just came on my face and all my children are now better looking and rich and, and all that. I get it. I, cow, it's so, it's exhausting.